everyone, Missy Billingsley here. I just wanted to do this quick video to show you how to adjust the size of your stippling in the Baby Lock Solaris. So we're gonna choose IQ Designer. And one of the things that I like to do when I'm adjusting the size of my stipple is I like to touch the settings key and make sure that I am working in millimeters because millimeters is a little bit easier for me on the spacing for the candle wicking as well as the stipple, which is what I'm gonna show you. So whether you're in inches or millimeters, I do toggle back and forth between the two quite a lot. So I'm gonna choose millimeters and we'll select okay. And I'm gonna choose a stamp or a shape from my shapes key. I'm gonna choose just a simple square. This works great if you're filling in a square of a hoop size or around a design. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn my outline off. So I've selected my outline. I've selected the off icon, touch OK. Select the paint bucket to fill in that outline and touch on the outline. So now the outline is turned off and now I wanna fill in the center of my square with stippling. So I've selected the stippling. You could check the next box over to choose any of the 30 patterns filled that built into the Solaris. And we're gonna change our color just for a visual. And then you're gonna select the paint bucket. So when you select the paint bucket, you're then gonna to touch inside the square and that has filled in your design with stipple. So when you touch next, it's gonna bring up your settings page where you can actually adjust the properties of your stippling. The first one is your run pitch. The run pitch is the length of your stitch. If you're making a very small stippling, you may need to adjust your run pitch down to maybe a 1.8, 1.6, because if you're making very tiny stippling, you need shorter stitches to be able to make those nice, pretty curvy lines, okay? The next one is your spacing, and the spacing would adjust how far apart or how close together the stippling is. So we're gonna touch the spacing. I'm gonna bump it up to about eight or nine. I like between eight and 10 usually for many projects. Then when you touch okay, it gives you a realistic preview of what your design's gonna look like. And then the last one is going to be the distance. That's the distance from the outer edge of the stipple to the edge of the design. So then when you touch okay, you can see what your design's gonna look like. Then we'll touch set. And on the Solaris, when you touch OK, that takes you out and puts you into embroidery. If you didn't like that stippling and you wanted to go back and make changes, you would touch Cancel. Then you would make your changes and adjust it to whatever size you want. Then touch OK again. If you like that better, touch Set, OK. And now you're ready to stitch. I hope that was helpful to you.